Hi guys, so continuing my series Ask Ali, I'm gonna leave the link on this form down below. I will get your question and if I feel like I can make a separate video about this, I will answer your question right there in the video. Sophia is asking, Hi Ali, I love your video so much. Thank you, Sophia. What hairstyles are best for round square faces? Uh, first of all, it just depends also not only on the front uh, of your face, but also on the profile. Of so there can be very flat faces and there can be faces that have a lot of volumes here. So faces that have a lot of volumes here, if you're making it super sleek into the back, then it can uh, look just too prominent as a contrast to that sleek and flat hair. So that is what's happening. On the other hand, if you love your volumes, because it just depends on your preference. Like some people want to exaggerate the volume, those volumes and some people want, on contrary, very flat faces. I've talked to so many women and they, many women just that want, they want different things and their viewpoint on beauty is so different. So it just depends on what exactly you're trying to make. Now, if your profile is really coming forward, let's say your middle part, your nose is pretty prominent, your cheekbones and your lips, everything is kind of slightly prominent on the profile, then that, that's what's happening. If you make it sleek on the back and it doesn't matter if your face is super narrow or super wide, you know, it just work um, as a contrast. Uh, if you're making it sleek, it will just make be more prominent. So if you make your hair more prominent or hanging here on the sides, it will make this not it will make it more balanced and not as pronounced your volumes from the side. Now, if you have pretty flat face, like let's say many Asian women, they have pretty flat faces from the front, but they still sometimes can have squarish face or rounded face, wider face. In this case, that sleekness sometimes can add them some volume to the face. Now, hair styles and hair cuts that would look good if you want still to reduce the volume of the face, to make your face slightly narrower. So what you're doing is you're, we are creating some volume on top, of course. This is that volume illusion that we're creating. We're cutting that top hair slightly shorter with a slight movement. I'm showing this in one of my videos, how to create volume on top and actually for uh, curly hair and for straight hair, for any type of hair. And so you can create that volume on top and then you're not creating a lot of volume on the sides. And also if you start, stop somewhere here, what it can make, it can create, make your head more square and wider a little bit. And then it will make your neck look slightly wider too, because your neck will be exposed to the light. And then the light will shine on your neck from the sides. Your neck will be slightly wider because if you would do on contrary, if you would do slightly elongated it here like let's say starting an inch below the chin so that hair as you can see even on my example right now that hair is creating some shadows on the sides of the neck so next starts being slightly longer and narrower so and uh, the whole face looks more chiseled also those big long lines by your face starting from here and going on the sides of your face and finishing again somewhere one inch below the chin and longer, we're talking about long bobs, longer hair and stuff. They can also make your face look not as wide and not as square. Um, I would not recommend, if you have square jaw hair, I would not recommend trying to cover it somehow or just cover it with the hair and stuff like that. Just because that's such a beautiful and strong feature and many women nowadays, I even know many women who are trying to inject those um, jawline, that jawline here, just to make it more square. That itself is a very unique, strong and very beautiful feature. So I would not do anything just to cover it. Of course, if you're making your hair, um, let's say your partial is slightly on the side or in the center and you're making your hair just lying on your face down like that and covering parts of your face and it goes slightly below the chin. Of course, that creates that illusion uh, that your face is partially covered and your face will become much narrower. Oval face and even the most narrow face can also become much narrower with that trick. Uh, so, and I'm talking now about no bangs situation. Now, if you're curious about the bangs and what they do to your face, whether it's rounded or it's narrow, I recommend you to watch those videos. I'm talking about the bangs and what different types of bangs do actually to your particular face. So you will 
have some ideas about what kind of illusion that bangs creates on your face. So you can check that. But in just in general, some bangs they can widen your face. Uh, if you make your bangs, if you make, if you're taking a lot of your hair, and especially you're also getting some hair which is above your temples. If you are cutting that hair shorter too, so your bangs becomes very wide. And when your bangs becomes very wide, it just opens that bottom part and sometimes it can be heavier than the rest of your face. Heavier than it, you, it actually is. It just overcreates the illusion of wider face, if that makes sense. So I would not probably recommend this, but if you are making the bangs and you're, let's say you're only getting hair from the center, somewhere like maybe an inch on top and then you are you're cutting that even if it's brow length but here on the sides above your temples you have full hair that goes down that can actually look very pretty but it will depend more on your vibe on your lifestyle on the style overall on your job or your facial features on your body type i would not risk recommending you that so we are much more safe if you just go without bangs or you're making those longer bangs now they say longer bangs always just making that facial structure slightly less wide and slightly more oval yeah it's true the diagonal though has to be more vertical if if you make the partial here and that will create more horizontal diagonal and that horizontal diagonal will widen it even more so the partial that we are creating it has to be close to the center not in the center though you can try with the center too like that is the most universal partial you're just making it slightly on the side and then that vertical diagonal that does magics to your face and actually you can do make your face to a size and if you have those more square jaw here it will look beautiful it will look gorgeous you can go with your hair sleek with your hair on the back yeah so it will just depends on those things if your face is like more flat or your face is more volume and pronounced we need to see your overall bone structure we need to see your overall vibe how much flesh or how much musculature you have in many cases it depends on that and if we talk about the very curly hair i say super curly small curls or wavier and stuff like that the same situation we are creating lines here so the outline of your hair that was naturally dried in case you don't like to spend a lot of time for drawing dry, drying your hair or uh, ironing it and making it super straight like let's say you are a person who wants uh, to spend as little time on your hair as possible so you go to the shower you go out go out of the shower you let it dry naturally how it is and then you build the outline of your haircut after that it dried that natural way you know some women look better if uh, you cut it with the curl some women look better when you cut it out like when the curls would create that more tousel effect but the outline is the key so th that long diagonal line it doesn't matter if it's curly rounded wavy it's still longer diagonal line it's still vertical diagonal line so if you're creating the overall um, outline of your hair of your face that will look great thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye subscribe on my pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types also you can subscribe on my instagram all the links i'm gonna leave down below also you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my patreon for some exclusive videos some early access to these videos and um, just if you want to support me and my channel thank you so much guys and i'll see you very soon bye bye